Hi, I'm Laurie Andreacchio, and today on Paintings and Postures, I have for you She Let Go. So She Let Go is a painting that was inspired by a poem written by the Reverend Sapphire Rose called She Let Go. It's about letting go of all that holds you back from being your most awesome, truthful self. The fears, the judgment, the self-doubt, you can let that go at any moment you choose. It doesn't require some big complicated process. You don't have to read a book. You don't have to join a group. You don't have to do anything except make the choice to let go. And how inspiring is that to know somewhere in there, not so deep down inside, you have the ability to do this, just to let it all go and be your most awesome rocking version of yourself that you can be. So along with that, I have a short yoga se sequence to help you release and let go. So take a seat on your mat, be comfortable, cross leg or an easy seat. And then if you need to sit on blankets or blocks, anything to make yourself comfortable, Go ahead and grab it. So let yourself come to your breath. And as you start to settle in, give yourself a few moments to notice what you are feeling like right now. What is it like to be you? And let go of what you think it should feel like, what it should be like, and just observe what actually is there. Allowing the breath now to start to deepen. Feel your sitting bones ground down to the earth, accentuating that contact, maybe even employing a little wiggle, a little wobble. And from there, drawing some energy up through the spine to elongate and lengthen a bit through the crown. So you want to be sitting erect, but not rigid and tight, holding yourself really nice and tall. You just want to elongate and be fluid. Allow the breath to start to deepen, start to lengthen through the nostrils, inhaling and exhaling. And take the breath around the body, take your focus around and start noticing areas of tension and tightness. And choose to release these areas, soften and let go. Maybe you can imagine the breath sweeping through and clearing these areas and blowing the tension away as you exhale. Again, sweeping the breath around, poking into all those little areas Noticing tension and releasing. And now taking your focus into your heart center and allowing a few breaths to notice what there is to notice here. And do a little clearing now with the breath here. Blow up anything that's blocking, anything that's stagnant. Release it with the out breath. So as you open and soften and relax a little bit more, you're going to start to notice and be open to your truth. Nice. So here's a good spot to plant that intention of being open, of releasing what you just don't want anymore. Let it go. As we start to move, taking this breath, inhaling down a little more consciously, down to the pelvic floor, soften, let the belly soften, open as you exhale, squeezing from the pelvic floor up along the spinal column, inhaling down. Imagine a bright, glowing, golden light swirling and growing 
in that pelvic area. And as you exhale again, see if you can hug and lift that leg up, up through your heart, all the way up the spine, sharing that energy, inhaling down, soften, widen, glowing and radiating a little bit more, exhale, hug and lift, squeezing that up along the spine, inhale down, widen, exhale, hug and lift. And now let's get the little movement going with that breath. As you inhale down, lead with the heart, bending forward. Exhale, hug and lift, lean back, round. Inhale, scooping. Exhale, heart, back. Inhale, and exhale. And now let's get the arms above as you sweep forward. And exhale, raise the legs up. The toes can stay on the floor and your hands can stay down if you need to. If not, bring them up and tuck your thumbs inside your palms, fists of fire. Inhale, forward, exhale, squeeze, hug and lift that ball of fire up. Inhale, exhale. So we're really developing some fire from the core to give yourself some support. Exhale, and strength from your truth, making and opening those areas that need to be released. One more, inhale, and squeeze, hug and lift from that pelvic floor up. Inhale, those arms up, and nice, let's come down to the top of the mat and release. Take the front spine in and up. And if this is okay in your back, let your legs come down or just let your feet come down. So all the way to the floor and let it out with a sigh. <sighs> Release. <sighs> Extend your arms over your head and lengthen toes to fingertips and all the way through the body. Nice. Hug your knees into your chest and make small circles one direction and make small circles the other direction. Giving that sacrum some love. Come back into center, line up the spine. You're going to rock and roll here. Nice. Use the breath. And as you come up to up forward bend, you can give yourself a little help with your fingertips or just come on up and bend your knees here. And wave your spine side to side. You can bend your legs a lot, taking the pressure off your back, off your hamstrings. Wave those fingertips side to side as well, maybe painting some rainbows on your mat or anything else you come up with. And back to center, step one leg out to the side and you're going to spread leg forward fold, take the sits bones back, so booty back. Your weight comes into your heels a little more and your toes can be out a little just in line with your kneecaps. So whatever way your kneecaps are facing, have your toes be facing the same way. Take a deep breath, inhale down to your feet. And as you exhale, press through the feet, lift up through the arches and through the pelvic floor. Awesome. So those inner muscles are helping you, supporting you as you lengthen, inhale up and stretch. Exhale, down and up. So using the breath, again, keeping the six bones back so the weight is in your heels. No tension on your knees. Some squats to release some stagnation in this core area. So where it all starts. And then release it. Let it go. And now 
we're going to get in a little more. So as you come, we're going to ha, 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 ha. Really fire up the core. Ha, ha. Your solar plexus. Ha. One more. Ha. And take it down. Weave it side to side. Release. Come back through center. Press down through the feet. Inhale, and as you exhale, squeeze and have a lift up. Inhale, stretch up. And snuggle down into your goddess. Nice, so we're gonna inhale and release a lot more. Let it all go here with a lion's breath. One more. It's really clearing. Really awesome stuff here. You can squat down a little more or you can come up if you need to. Your choice. So let's do one more. Let everything go. Breath. And bow down to your earth. Come to center. Take your hands behind your back and palms together. Keep your elbows bent. Try and get both sides of your palms touching, pinky sides. Inhale and exhale back and forth. You can play with straightening your arms. Nice. And back to center, sits bones out and back a little more. You can bend both legs. You can straighten and release those arms down. Frame the front foot. Take your foot back into a child. And pause here for a breath to come back to your intention. Come back to your breath. Let go, release. Remind yourself to relax, to soften, to let go. On your next inhalation, roll yourself up and take your feet out from under you. You scooch up to the front of your mat and we're gonna roll back again. Back onto your spine. Let the tops of your feet come down and just take a pause here. Inhale, exhale with a sigh, let it go. And now extend one leg at a time straight Tuck your shoulder blades under to open your heart a little more. Let your feet splay out to the sides. And we'll just come to a resting corpse pose, Shavasana. So let yourself release and let go a little more. Breathing softly, smoothly, and deeply through the nostrils once again. So resting here allows the body and the mind to reset. And as you soften a little more, continue to search for those areas of tension and tightness. And keep releasing, keep letting go. Inhaling again here deeply. One last side and let everything else that you need to let go, let it go now. Beautiful. You are loved, you are light, you are limitless. Endless possibility. Take your arms over your head, stretch toes to fingertips. 
bring some vitality, awareness into the body, roll around the ankles, the wrists, bring your knees into your chest, and give yourself another hug, can't have too many of those. Roll over to one side and take a breath here. When you're ready, come back up to a comfortable seat. Allow your eyes to remain closed for a few more breaths, a few more moments. And as you reground, coming back to that place of stillness. Feeling the earth beneath you, supporting. And taking another moment just to see what it's like to be you in this moment. Inhaling all the way down to the base of the spine. And now take some energy from the earth, that support, and draw it in and up through the spine, all the way up. That glowing light comes back to the heart. And let go. So thank you for joining me today on Paintings and Postures. I will see you next time. Namaste.